بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنحتدي لولا أن هدانا الله والصلاة والسلام على الأشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد ابن عبد الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإخسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Dr. Omar Jah, welcome once again to Exploring Islam. Our discussion today will be on Isra wal Mihraj. As you know, two days from now, it will be Isra wal Mihraj or the night journey. That was the time um, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ascended up to the seventh sky. In Surah Al Bani Israel, Allah is saying, Subhana lizi azra bi abdihi laylam min al Masjidul Haram ila al Masjidul Aqsa. Lizi barakna haulahu li nuriya o min ayatina ina hu huwa samiyul bashir. That is glory to Allah who did take his servant for a journey by night from the sacred mosque to the father's mosque, whose presence he did bless in order that he, we might show him some of our signs. He is the one who hears and sees all things. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ascended up to the seventh sky, he did experience a sequence of events, but the most important thing for us Muslims also to remember is prayer. It was there that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it mandatory on all Muslims. Um, prayer is indeed one of the pillars of Islam. There is a hadith which is said to be narrated by Buhari, may Allah be pleased with him, who says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Bunyal Islam al alhamzin a shahada to an la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ikama salat wa itaya zakat wa shawmi ramadan wa hajil baytillahi al-haram wa nistata ilayhi al-sabila this authenticates the fact that islam is indeed built on five pillars and prayer is one of the pillars in over 80 verses in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is urging us to pray and give out zakat he's saying wa yuqimu salata wa yutu zakat in surahs like Rom, Khazas, Luqman, Ankabut, Hajj, Ahsab, Taha, Nur, and Bayina. Muslims can therefore adduce Isra wal Mihraj as the bedrock of prayer. In other words, prayer evolved from Isra wal Mihraj. Tell us more about this Isra wal Mihraj or the night journey and the significance of prayer. Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد خير بني العدنان وعلى آله وصحابة أجمعين والصلاة والسيدات السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters Allow me first and foremost thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى for the opportunity accorded me and also to thank Isa too for Allah's blessing in continuation of this program. Mm -hmm. I think you have today a very important topic, which mm -hmm. is Al-Isra wal Mi'raj. You see, Muslims are duty-bound mm -hmm. to always remember, mm -hmm. especially those events, especially very important mm -hmm. and pivotal and instrumental events that mm -hmm. mark the history of their civilization and religion. Mm -hmm. Al-Isra wal Mi'raj, you have just quoted a verse mm -hmm. in which Allah is saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, mm -hmm. Subhanal ladhi asra bi'abdihi laylan mm -hmm. min al-Masjid al-Haram ila al-Masjid al-Aqsa al-Ladhi barakna hawla nunurihu min ayatina innuhu huwa sami al-Basir. And it's so also in Surah Al-Najm, wa al-Najbi idha hawa, ma dalla sahibukum wa ma gawa, wa ma yantiqa anil hawa, inhu wa illa wa hiyuha. علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالأفق الأعلى ثم دنا فتدلى فكان قاب قوسين أو أدنى فأوحى إلى عبده ما أوحى. Together these two verses and many other hadith are giving you the description of that night of the night journey. This night journey is very important because if you read it against the background of the year of sorrow, those days the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was really demoralized. Mm -hmm. He was a prophet who was tested to the maximum. Mm -hmm. Those who are taking care of him mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. The best of whom, one of the best of whom was Khadija died. Mm -hmm. They were boycotted and so sent. Misfortunes happening at the same time. At the same time. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to amuse him, wanted to inform him that 
he was not left behind. Mm -hmm. And then he was taken to that journey. And the journey is described as, subhanAllah, the Asra, glory to he who mm -hmm. took him by that night journey from one point, meaning Masjid al-Aqsa, Masjid mm -hmm. al-Haram, mm -hmm. the Mosque of Haram in Mecca, in Masjid al-Aqsa, mm -hmm. to the Mosque of Aqsa in Palestine. Mm -hmm. It means a lot. It means the compression of time and space. Mm -hmm. I think if Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr mm -hmm. was Sorry. not a very strong believer, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have believed him. Mm -hmm. Because those days, if you can tell somebody that time and space can be compressed, mm -hmm. that time and space are relative, mm -hmm. then they would not listen to you. But today, mm -hmm. of course, when you travel by plane, mm -hmm. when you travel in a, in a rocket or spacecraft, mm -hmm. then you also see the, the relativity mm -hmm. of time, especially in relation to, to, to space. Mm -hmm. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. gave the Prophet best of the thing because he gave it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And he took him from that place, mm -hmm. Mecca, mm -hmm. to Beit al-Maqadis, and the caravans used to travel it in three months. Mm -hmm. And one night, the Prophet mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. taken to that journey. To, to be amused, at least to be to be to be attracted back, mm -hmm. to, to 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 be to be given high morals because he was he was a human being, he was a prophet, but he was a human being, mm -hmm. and all those sequences of sorrow events re really demoralized him. Mm -hmm. And Allah not only did not only take him from Masjid al Haram mm -hmm. to, to Bayt al Maqdis mm -hmm. to compress his space, uh, space and time, but from there also he took in the Mi'raj. Then it has a two component: mm -hmm. the component of Isra. Mm -hmm. and the component of Mi'raj. Mm -hmm. Al-Isra, from the journey of Makkah mm -hmm. to Bayt al-Maqadis, all on this world of physics, mm -hmm. and from there, the other component is the journey of Mi'raj, which is in the world of metaphysics. Mm -hmm. Because after that, you go, penetrated the galaxies, you, he was shown a lot of good things, and then he went to where I and you do not know, meaning penetration of the world of physics and the world of metaphysics. So the, the, the other significance I'll say to in this journey is the, the issue of Abd. Mm -hmm. Allah says, Subhanallah, Asra bi Abdihi. Mm -hmm. Allah, glory to he who took his servant. So the issue of servant, of, of servitude, is another very high position that the Prophet acquired, mm -hmm. and a, pro, a, a position that all good men and women, all awliya, are trying to mm -hmm. acquire, what we call being a servant. The moment that you get that position, being a servant of mm -hmm. only Allah, then you have a real independence. Because those who haven't got that, they are still the servant of somebody else. But the Allah mm -hmm. has described the Prophet as his servant. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah asra bi abdihi. He didn't say Subhanallah asra bi Muhammad. Glory to he who took Muhammad. Sallallahu no. exactly. Glory to he who took his servant. And that's a very high position that we are all looking forward to attaining. And that was a strength in the other verse. He says, Fa ila abdihi ma awha. In Surah to Najma. He said, when he came to me from the first component of the journey, the first leg, to Bayt al-Maqdis, where he led the old um, prophets, mm -hmm. then he was taken on Burak mm -hmm. to me. He mm -hmm. came according to some interpretations, mm -hmm. very close to me, then I revealed to him, to my servant, what I revealed to, my, to, to him. So this, it, this is of servitude, this is of servant, is very significant and it has been illustrated in mm -hmm. this. And then the other thing is, and ila abdihi means the Quran that was at least the prayers that were given, which, which, given which will bring yeah. us to the other thing. Yeah, and the, 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 the second, the second, the third significance of al Isra wal Mi'raj okay. is about Linuriyahu min Ayatina. He said Linuriyahu min Ayatina, meaning we will show him, we will demonstrate to him some of our miracles, some of our attractions. If you ask you to now, imagine those who travel on spacecraft, mm -hmm. how many moons they see, mm -hmm. how many stars, mm -hmm. how many suns. Mm -hmm. We are living in the planet Earth, and you, you, you see a lot of fascinations mm -hmm. in the tree, in the mountain, in the waterfalls, mm -hmm. you see, in the birds flying. These are fascinations mm -hmm. that will attract the mankind to understand that there is an intelligent designer of this universe. Mm -hmm. So when you penetrate the galaxies, you 